What's up, Facebook family, friends, followers, and YouTubers? My name's Andy, I'm back here with MN Motors and Sports, and today I'm gonna show you guys just how easy it is to set up your Ice Castle Fish House. First, I wanna talk a little bit about our setup today, and also uh, why this video is gonna be important for you. So if you've never owned an Ice Castle Fish House before, or maybe you do own one, but it's a, uh, it's a crank up house, um, you may wanna consider upgrading to a hydraulic. So I'm gonna flip the camera around, I'm gonna show you guys our setup here. So what I have today, this is a 2018 Ice Castle Itasca Vacation Series XL. It's a 21 foot house with a three foot V. It's sitting on a steel hydraulic frame and a tandem axle. It, uh, it has a full water package, so you got the bathroom up in the V and, and uh, we'll, we'll walk through the house as well too. This is a perfect house set up for a family who's gonna be using it year round for camping and ice fishing and for hunting and whatnot. Um, the truck that I've got it hooked up to right now, this is a 2012 F350 Lariat. It's a truck that we just got on the lot here recently. It is set up with a 6.7 liter diesel. Now for a house like this, you don't need a truck this big. If you just have a half ton pickup truck, uh, that your half ton is gonna pull this just fine. Um, even a Suburban, um, even a Tahoe, anything like that would be able to pull this house uh, with ease. So. Uh, let's get into it. I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to set up this house. It's only going to take us a couple minutes, so bear with me here. I want to start out, so right now we're hooked up to the truck. Uh, say we just pulled out to where we want to go fishing or where we want to go camping. Um, this here is the remote that you get with it. It's a valley frame. Again, it's hydraulic and it's all remote controlled. So before we drop the house up here on the hitch, uh, we can leave it all hooked up to the truck. That's going to make it a lot easier for when we want to leave. But the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to pull this tongue pin here. So we'll just pull that pin out. We'll set that aside. We can leave all of our electrical hookups there and we can leave our, uh, our chains hooked up and everything. Again, it'll save us a lot of time when it's time to pack up. But now all we're going to do, there's no pins in the back wheels or anything. We're just going to press and hold this red button here and the house is gonna go ahead and it's gonna drop down for us. So you can already see how it doesn't take a lot of time for the house to drop down to the, to the ground. So you can get to your beer drinking pretty quick when you're out camping or fishing. You're not gonna freeze out in the cold setting this house up. It's just an awesome setup. So we're just gonna hold it till it drops all the way down. And there we are, we're all set up. So. If, uh, if you are setting up on the ice, you're afraid of the water coming up, if you're going to leave it for an extended period of time, I do suggest putting some blocks underneath the frame. Um, you could probably put about eight different blocks around the house just to keep it off the ice a little bit so it doesn't freeze down. Um, it'll make it a lot easier for when you're packing up. So the next thing we want to do once we're on the ground is when we're ice fishing, we're going to go here and we're just going to turn on these propane tanks. So we'll just turn both of these on. We'll close it back up here. And then heading inside the house, show you guys what you should be doing next. This house comes with a generator. It's a 2000 watt uh, generator. You'd want to grab this generator, bring it outside. There's a cable. Uh, just fire your generator up. Go ahead and plug in on the back of the house and plug into the generator so you got AC power running right away. Uh, but we're going to want to turn on our furnace next. So. If you're going out ice fishing, the first thing you're going to want to do is purge out the lines. You're going to just go ahead and light the uh, the stove here. I'm not going to physically do it, but you just want to turn it on to high. Use a lighter to fire up this stove. And that's just going to get the propane uh, running through your lines so your furnace is going to start a lot easier. And then this house here is already set up with a digital Lux thermostat. So we'll just go ahead and turn this on to heat. Again, I'm not going to do it today just because it's already pretty warm outside, but you'll just turn it to heat. Uh, turn it to uh, the fan on to on or auto and then set your temperature and that furnace is just going to fire up for you So incredibly easy. I mean, that's pretty much it um, If you're camping uh, and you got a water line hookup There's a water line hookup outside where you can hook up to city water so you can run your sink and Your toilet and your shower if you don't have if you don't have a city water hookup and uh, Or like a hose line you can you can fill your tank before you go out camping for the weekend and that'll allow you to get some water. There's uh, there's some switches to turn on your uh, your water pump, which is right up front here, as well as your hot water heater. Um, this house is set up pretty nice. Again, it's got the full water package, so it's going to be great for camping. 
um, as well as fishing. So we got an oven and a stove. Uh, you got your microwave oven right above. This one comes with a 32 inch flat screen TV. It also has a refrigerator as well. The refrigerator is going to run off of uh, your AC power. So in order for that to cool, you will want to have your generator running or be plugged in. Uh, we got a radio to turn on all of your 12 volt, um, um, your, your power supply. You just hit that switch there and now our 12 volt supply is on. So now we can use our, we can use our lights up on the ceiling. These are all LED. So your battery is going to last quite a while on just 12 volt. If you're not plugged in uh, to your generator or running overnight without running your generator. So again, when we do that, we've got radio turns on and that also shows us what, what we're at for voltage. So you can keep an eye on that. If it starts to run low, maybe it's time to, uh, to pop on your generator. Some other cool features. We've got led lights that go to all the holes here. Um, you are going to want to, of course, drill all of your holes. It's super easy. You just grab the handle here on your hole cover, pop it up, and you're ready to drill out your holes. So I do suggest if uh, if, if you can, uh, do like a an electri electric auger. Like the ions are awesome. Strike Master makes a great lithium ion auger. You can also use a K-drill. Um, if you got a Milwaukee brushless drill, uh, the K-drill is an awesome, uh, an awesome setup. It's very light and easy to use. So... Um, Again, great setup, perfect for camping, perfect for fishing. Uh, if you need to run the AC unit, it's right up here, pretty self-explanatory. Just go ahead and turn your switch on, but you will need to be plugged into AC power. Um, if you are gonna be running the, uh, the air conditioning unit off a generator, I do suggest going with one a little bit bigger than a 12,000 watt. Maybe go to like a, like a 3,000 watt or a 4,000 watt. It's gonna run your air conditioning unit a lot better and it'll be uh, better for both the generator and the AC unit. So we got a bunk up above. This house is a full size bunk, so you can sleep two up there. And then this table here also, this folds down into a lower bunk as well. Very comfortable for two people. Um, and then we got a side one too. So this side dinette here, this table uh, just lifts off. Uh, you fold the leg in, drop it down. You can go ahead and put the pad down. Great spot for one person to sleep. A lot of cupboard space in this house. Uh, this one is set up for those who, who need a lot of storage. So we got a lot of really big cupboards over here above the side dinette. We got cupboards in the kitchen, above and below. And then over the wheel wells, we got plenty of cupboard space. And then on this side as well. So really nice setup. You get a big picture window out by your door. This does have a manual awning right outside. It's got a spot for two TV hookups. So um, if you, if you, mom and dad want to watch a football game in the back you can watch it here if the kids want to watch their movie up front uh, you can plug another tv in up here as well um, another cool feature too is if you did want to uh to have a fish cam uh, you could run your your lines to your fish camera like your aqua view up onto the the tv either or the tvs and you could uh, watch the fish uh, coming in on your bait and and of course biting so very well set up um, it's got a great look. It's been very well maintained and taken care of. Um, just it, it'd be a really good uh, it'd be a really good opportunity for a family to not only get out on the ice but to do some camping as well. Another big benefit too of the fish house is is uh, outside of it being easy to set up, but it's very sturdy. You know, it's not like a camper where you have a uh, where you have jacks in the corners. So. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, we're set up. We're ready to fish or we're ready to camp. Uh, have a couple beers. Um, there they are. They're super easy. Anyone can do it. Uh, coming up is just as easy as going down. You just press the uh, the green button to come up. It's going to lift up. Go ahead and put your hitch pin in, and, uh, and you're ready to take off. So, if you guys have any questions, please uh, comment below. If there's anything that you guys that you want to see, or maybe you want to schedule an appointment to come take a look at this house specifically, just uh, let us know. Shoot us a message on Facebook. Uh, you can comment on YouTube. Uh, you can also give us a call at 320-247-4050. Our website, if you want to check out our inventory and additional photos on this fish house or any of our other inventory, our website is mymnmotors.com. So please check us out. If you are watching on YouTube, please subscribe below. Uh, help support me in uh, making some more informational videos and view all the new inventory coming in without even stopping by the lot. So again, thank you guys for watching. Have a good weekend, and we'll see you next time.